ABC Wes here checking in. Um, well, as you can see from the title of this video, this is um, a video about getting rid of this back here, uh, the shelves, not the records. Uh, I've it's I've come to this point where I am ready to sort of build a custom shelf for my records. Um, the Expedits are great. I love them. They're you know they're they're the perfect size. They work really well. But I've I've always built my own furniture. I built this desk that I'm, my computer's sitting on that I'm filming it now. I uh, CD shelves. Oh geez, over here. Um, that go along this whole wall over here that you can't see. Uh, I've seen in some other videos probably. Uh, built all those my shel myself. Uh, built my bed frame, I built uh, my coffee table, my TV stand, my uh, rack that all my equipment goes into. You know, I'm, I'm a, I've always been sort of, you know, not quite happy with what's available commercially. It's, it's, ne it's always a compromise uh, for exactly what you want. And, and the Expedits are the same way. They're compromised. They're not perfect. Uh, they don't fit this you know this wall they don't fit perfectly how I would like how I'd like things to be um, there may be a, an inch or so too deep um, there's these thick uh, you know the borders are really thick so that's just a bunch of wasted space really I mean just in those uh, just in that center section there I could store probably another 50 records if that wasn't there uh, so it's you know it's just a little bit inefficient and I like building things I like I like working with my hands I like uh, I like doing that and I've been a computer programmer now for 12 years and I don't really get to work with my hands that much other than when I'm working on my cars or 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 building furniture or something like that so it's been a while since I built something and I've been dying to build a, a custom record shelf that'll make this make a more efficient use of this space and it's gonna look better and uh, I'll just feel better about it so uh, I just went to Home Depot yesterday spent a bunch of money got some uh, three sheets of three-quarter inch oak plywood and two sheets of uh, some sort of some sort of uh, cabinet grade sort of luon that very thin sheets just to, uh, to, to do some backing boards I want I want to have a back on this cabinet um, and my original intention was to go with uh, 5 8 oak plywood that's what this desk is built with uh, it's it's plenty strong it would have worked just fine uh, for what I'm doing uh, but for some reason I could not find 5 8 oak plywood anywhere I don't know I don't know what happened. They have half inch oak plywood and they have three quarter inch oak plywood. So half inch was too thin. So I had to go with three quarter. Uh, it's it's kind of ridiculous. The price per sheet is only two dollars difference between those two. So there's no there's no point in even wasting time trying to build it out of half inch. I mean, it was only you know six dollars extra to to go to go with a much heavier uh, much heavier plywood. So that's what we went with anyway. So here's kind of the rough sketch of what I'm going to be building. Um, so it is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six shelves high. So it's basically as high as this is now, um, but it actually won't be as tall because of all those, you know, all those borders we have, the, the thick edges on the expedits. It's gonna, it's actually gonna be. Uh, let's see, probably. You know, probably six, five or six inches uh, shorter than it is now, uh, and then it's only going to be three boxes wide. But these boxes are 20 inches wide, so they're they're a good bit wider than the than the expedits are. Uh, so that's that's one reason why I decided not to go with the uh, the half inch plywood. Is just since I'm going with with much wider shelves, I wanted to, uh, needed some extra. Uh, extra durability there uh, so this is sort of a this is this was just my rough sketch uh, give you an idea uh, they're 13 inches high that's about a quarter inch less than an expedite I, I'm trying to squeeze I'm trying to squeeze the space and make it as efficient as, as possible 
Uh, so I felt I could lose a quarter inch off the height and, and be, be good still. Um, some of my taller, even my box sets, like there's a, there's a, there's a Melancholy and Infinite Sadness, and there's some uh, Hendrix box sets, and those will still fit in there just fine. So 13 inches is, is the perfect size as far as I'm concerned, as far as the height goes. Um, so anyway, I did a more detailed sort of layout sketch up, uh, you know, these sheets of plywood are almost $50 a piece, so don't want to mess up when you're cutting, so I have some cutting templates here I made. Here is the first sheet, um, kind of get an idea, these are some of the, uh, the cross shelves in the middle, and then these are some of the, uh, up here, uh, some of the, uh, There'll be this sort of uh, the vertical spacing, you know, shelves like there. <laughs> this is not easy to point these out. Um, so that's sheet one, and then here's the uh, sheet two and three plywood. Not have not going to have too much waste here. I don't. There's no way I could lay this out where it would just work with two sheets of plywood. So, you know, went with three sheets of plywood, and I'll have some left over that I can do some smaller projects with. Uh, it's always handy to have those around, and you'll see I, I changed, had to scratch out and change some of the numbering here because I originally sketched this out with the intention of using 5 8 plywood, and as I said, couldn't find 5 8 plywood, so we're going with 3 quarter. So change the dimensions. Actually, 3 quarter is a little bit easier because all the all the dimensions are are within you know their quarter inch, half inch, 3 quarter inch, or full inch uh, measurements. So it makes it makes it a little bit easier actually. Uh, so uh, I guess I'm going to sort of film th film this thing as it, as it goes along in the progress and we'll sort of cut this all together at the end and make one big video out of it, sort of uh, showing the progress of the whole thing and the finished product and uh, yeah, so it should be interesting. I know some when I mentioned this in the past, people have shown interest in seeing the, seeing the whole project, so that's what we're going to do. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, moving on to the next step. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the uh, first sheet of three-quarter oak plywood set up. I'm getting ready to start uh, marking out my cut lines and everything. So I'll go ahead and sort of show you. Up close, has a nice grain to it. You know, it's just, uh, just some sort of, uh, I guess maybe birch or something. Some sort of plywood uh, that just has a really thin sheet of... Um, Oak, real oak veneer on it. Um, I do have it sitting on some cardboard over top of my uh, saw horses because they're uh, they're kind of dirty. So I want to keep this uh, this stuff pretty clean. Uh, but yeah, this is a three quarter inch standard four by eight sheet of oak plywood. Here are the other two sheets. Oh, there's some extra turntable porn for you. <laughs> and this is the backboard um, I'm using. I don't know exactly what this kind of wood is, uh, but it just has a nice grain to it, and you know it's going to be on the back. You're not really going to see it uh, for the most part, um, unless the records are out or something for some reason. But you know this is uh, ten dollars a sheet, so it's it's reasonably priced, and uh, yeah, I, I like it. It'll it'll look nice with some uh, polyurethane on it. So yeah, let's go ahead and start marking out some lines. So. So I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, sheet one here. So I'm going you know, to do some of these uh, 58 and a half inch long by 14 and three quarter inch deep. I think I forgot to mention that in the previous uh, segment. Uh, the, the, I'm going to make the shelves 14 and three quarter deep. I think that's about an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half uh, shallower than an expedit is. So it'll be a little bit shallower, give me a little more you know, a little bit extra room space there. Like I said, it's not really necessary that they be as deep as an expedit. Those are a little bit too deep. Uh, so yeah, going 14 and 3 quarter deep and 58 and a half inch long. Okay guys, so we got our uh fence set up for the saw to make sure it's a nice straight cut and uh, everything's set. I got the new blade on the saw 
Uh, I got some eye protection. I got some ear protection in already. Um, and we're ready to make our first cut. So here goes nothing. Okay, so we're ready to make another cut, and I got my fence set up again on this smaller sheet of plywood, and no, I was not pumping iron, that's just to uh, help hold the board on there, since I've got this, uh, most of it overhanging, so the blade doesn't cut into the sawhorses, I uh, just added some extra weight out there to help support things, uh, but anyway, hopefully this cut goes better, I got the depth on my saw set correctly, I'd forgotten to do that before, so that was part of my problem. Okay, we're back. The battery died there, but just want to show you how a nice, uh, nice clean cut this makes. Uh, it'll be perfect for an outside edge. Doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how things are going. This blade's cutting really nice. Uh, yeah, just a really, really nice sharp edge. Um, awesome. So, all right, guys. Well, that's gonna be the end of day one. Just finished. Uh, Turn that big piece of plywood into six smaller pieces, and uh, should turn a whole piece of plywood into nine pieces here, plus some scraps. Uh, we got three of our middle shelves here, and like I said, six of the. Uh... But yeah, uh, things are going well now that I got the saw set up right. I got the, I got it down pat how I'm doing my uh, setting up my fences and everything. Uh, the next two pieces should go. Go quicker, uh, but it's it's going really good so far. I'm happy with how clean the cuts are and everything, and uh, it's going to turn out real nice. So. Uh okay, so we're uh, ready to cut out our second piece from this uh, this sheet of plywood. Only getting only getting three parts out of this one sheet of plywood, so these are expensive parts. Uh, but I'm getting my two side panels out of this sheet and then uh, either the top or the bottom it, it doesn't matter they're the same piece basically uh, so one of those pieces and uh, yeah I've got I just did my one side piece off of this and this is the second side piece that's going to come off and then out of this last part I'm going to pull out uh, either the top or the bottom so uh, we're going to go ahead and cut this out and uh, here goes side panel so I've got both of those uh, completed. I'm going to go ahead and mark this up and pull, pull the top off of it and uh, that'll be two out of three sheets cut. Alright so here goes about to do the last last cut on the second sheet of plywood just this little cut this little thin strip off of here to make this a, uh, a standard 14 and 3 quarter inch deep shelf that I'm building. So, like I said, either the top or the bottom. I've already cut this to 60 inches long. The width of the, the width of the shelf, and you know, 60 inches is either the top or the bottom. Uh, yeah, and I got I got my rip fence set up, and this is this is the last cut. Sheet two went pretty fast, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to finish up sheet three today and get all my cuts done, and I'll be ready to start 
uh, sanding the edges and putting on the uh, the edging heat laminating process anyway we'll get to that in a, in a minute but uh, sheet 3 a little more complicated than the last sheet I got 160 inch uh, either a top or bottom piece and then two 58 and a half inch shelves uh, and then six more of the dividers uh, to bring the total of 12 on the dividers and uh, that's that's the last piece uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the cut the full sheet down to 60 inches uh, so I'll be able to make these three sheets I'll cut it down to 60 inches I'll go ahead and slice off this first uh, first piece and then I'll cut the rest down to 58 and a half and cut these two shelves out uh, and then we'll work on the this end piece that I cut off and we'll make the dividers out of that and uh, It'll be done, it'll be a good day. So, here we go on the first cut. Hi right, folks, uh, checking in again. Great news, just made my last large cut. So, all the big pieces are cut. Uh, yeah, didn't make any mistakes uh, and the last thing I have to do is really turn this piece into six of these and uh, I have enough scrap if I mess one of these up I, I can make another one uh, so yeah I don't have to buy any more wood that's uh, excellent news that's uh, very expensive as I said they're about $50 a sheet um, but by the time you pay tax and everything hey folks Wes here just uh, getting ready to make the last cut on the uh, on this plywood and I uh, just wanted to get it on tape get the last cut on here and uh, yeah we're, we're pretty much done after I'm done with this so let's go ahead and do it a little short little uh, divider here and we're done So that went awesome. Uh, three sheets worth of plywood here cut up into uh, little pieces. Uh, there's another, actually another one of these long ones here still in the, still in the office. So I have to bring that back out. But uh, we're ready to move on to the next step as far as uh, getting ready to start assembling this thing. So happy with how it's going so far. The end of day two of the project. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you how this uh, veneer went on. It's pretty easy. You just cut it to length and uh, use the iron to stick it on there. So uh, first thing you want to do is measure how much we need. And you can leave a little uh, extra sticking off the end. Just uh, to give yourself some to sand off to make a nice sharp corner so got that measured and just cut it with normal scissors it's thin enough to do that easily um, just cut this and that's all we need to do so just lay it on there so it's nice and even start with the iron here Stuff sticks on pretty quick. If you make a mistake, you can always just reheat, reheat it up and peel it off and uh, stick it on again. Move it, do whatever you need to do. I just sort of slowly work my way down, holding the edges so it stays pretty even. suggest using the cotton setting on the iron so it's like a, a medium heat That's it. Uh, 
next step is just to uh, use a sander and sand off the edges to make them nice and even with the uh, rest of the board. Um, you know, this veneer is a little bit bigger than the than the board just to give you a little extra to sand off. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, piece of uh, veneered uh, plywood and you don't see the don't see the plies anymore so that's uh, makes a nice nice piece of uh, nice piece of furniture after you're done Hey folks, I'm back. Hopefully I'm actually in frame here. Um, if not, at least you can hear me and see the, uh, the shelves coming together. I got, um, got the first side piece and top piece uh, screwed together on one side, and I just got this other side set up to be screwed together. Uh, this is probably going to be the last thing I do today. Uh, it's getting pretty late, so uh, just going to screw this together and... Uh, Leave it be now, and I'll pick it up again tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I'll have time. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to just say I got this uh, corner brace, uh, corner vise sort of thing. It just helps hold things together and keeps things nice and square as I screw things together. And I have this nice countersink set. Um, it drills the hole, uh, drills the countersink hole so that the head of the screw will be down inside the wood, and then I can put some filler over top of it to cover it over so you won't see the... Uh, screw and then you just uh, push this little latch forward and flip it over and pull it back down and you got your Phillips screw uh, right there so it's a really handy tool I love I love this thing it's really awesome for uh, when you're putting together furniture so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill our first hole and, and we'll move on holes drilled I'm going to go ahead and put the two screws in and then I'll put a third one in the middle after it's screwed together just to give it some more support um, let's just go zip right in no problem and that's that and like I said I'll just have to put some filler in these holes and then when I sand everything and get it ready for the polyurethane, uh, you won't see any won't see any screws at all. Howdy, folks. Wes here again. Uh, as you see, made some more progress on the shelves. Got the first. This is actually flipped upside down. This is actually the top of the shelf, um, and this is the first. The first shelf, um, and so what, what I've done here is the dividers, uh, they get screwed in from, from the top and from uh, underneath here, uh, but the problem is when I go to do the next set of dividers, like this before I'm ready to put my next shelf on, um, there's obviously no way to get a screw in going this way, so I have to use dowels. So I got these oak oak dowels that I uh, cut here, cut these to an inch and a half. And so I'm going to need a dowel 
and then I'll put my next shelf on and I'll screw and then I'll dowel and then screw and just keep going until we get to the actual the bottom of the shelf which is actually now at the top. Uh, obviously I could have I could have offset the dividers a little bit and uh, you know screwed from both directions. I thought about that. I didn't really like how that would that would look turning out so I decided to go ahead and do it this way. It's a little more work but I think it'll look better and it'll be it'll be more structurally sound with all these dividers lined up and having the the pressure of the shelves pushing down all in, all in, a, in a line there um, rather than trying to twist the shelf board by pushing on different parts um, so yeah that's that's the thing so what I have done in order to to uh, make this work right is I created a drilling jig for dowels um, so you know you want to drill in the same spot in the shelf as you're drilling on the divider so everything lines up properly. Uh, so I made a jig here and I'll use this jig to drill into the into the shelf and the same jig I'll take and transfer over and drill into the divider so the dowel holes are in the exact same spot and they should line up perfectly. And so yeah, that's I'm ready to get started. Also another thing I've done is I've taped off my drill bit at an inch and a half. Uh, this this plywood is three quarter inch thick and I want to drill in. These dowels are inch and a half so I want to go in three quarter inch on either end. So uh, the jig plus the how deep I want to go is an inch and a half. So I got it taped off there. I'll drill down to an inch and a half and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling these, uh, these dowel holes on this first, uh, first shelf that's going to use dowels have it marked for the front so I always uh, orient it in the correct the uh, the same direction so don't mess that part up drill down to the tape now the trick is to drill into these shelves properly which I really should have a long clamp to do this. I'm probably going to end up going and buying one. Uh, but I'm going to dangerously attempt at drilling this first one without that. I can always make another divider if I have to. Yeah, it went really well. <laughs> Two dowel holes there. So, if I did everything correctly, That's pretty much it. I'm just going to keep doing that. Uh, this next shelf is ready to go on now. It'll get screwed in again with screws this way and then there'd be dowels going that way. And we'll move on to the next one. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this is going. So I just went ahead and quickly created another uh, tool just to uh, keep my spacing on my screw holes even um, all over the thing just so Everything looks uniform, everything fits uniform, and I won't have problems with the screw holes getting in the way of the dowels. So I just went ahead and marked off three, three equidistant points on uh, this, this piece of wood that I've been using to also um, get, make sure my uh, shelf spacing is right uh, for my dividers. So this just has two purposes. You know, I use it to mark out my screws, and then I use it to set the distance correctly so uh, when I screw things together it'll be, all be even. Uh, so just another handy thing to help out and sort of keep things uniform.
Hey folks, Wes here, just uh, finishing up on the shelves. As you see, made quite a bit of progress since I last did some filming. Um, it's been going together really well, no problems. I'm, I'm getting better at, at drilling the holes for the dowels, so that's working out really well. I was, I was really worried about having troubles with doing that. I've never, I've done that once before and it was tricky. Um, but it's not something I've done in a while, and I was worried about it being a problem, but it hasn't been a problem at all. I've been just cruising right along. Um, everything is lining up pretty nice, and I'm just really happy with how things are going together. So I've actually got, I actually just did the last dowel holes in the this sh first shelf here, um, and so then I need to uh, do the dowel holes in the last two dividers, and then put the bottom, which is actually, like I said before, it's upside down. So. This is actually going to be the bottom, is, is what's going to go on top here, because I have it flipped upside down as I built it from the top down, but from the bottom up. <laughs> so anyway, uh, just going along really well. I just wanted to uh, capture the last little bits of this going together before I'm ready to start doing some finishing, and I hope to, hope to be setting this in place by next weekend. So that's uh, it's going really well. All right, folks, well, here it is. The time has come. Last three screws, and uh, we'll be done with assembly. So we've already got the uh, holes drilled and countersunk. So I'm just going to put these three screws in, and it'll be done. All right, that was it. It's done. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting it flipped back over and filling in these screw holes on the sides here and um, getting some polyurethane on it and getting some sanding done. So, uh. Hey folks, I'm back. I know it looks the same, but it's actually flipped, flipped over. It's right side up now. So this is, this is the top up here uh, where it's supposed to be and the bottom's down there. And I got some cardboard down here and I got it spaced up with a piece of scrap plywood. Um, off the ground so I can, uh, it's all ready to go, I just uh, be ready to do all of my polyurethane and everything. So, um, and going going good, I'm happy with the progress and uh, yeah, I'm just going to put some wood filler on the holes and call it a day. Cheers. Hey folks, okay, well the, uh, it's, the shelves are done. As you see, I've made quite a bit of progress since I last uh, last filmed. I was just kind of got in the zone of finishing up and uh, getting excited, getting excited about having this done. So I didn't really do much filming. the 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 last parts of what I did was basically just sanding and and putting on polyurethane. I did I did three coats of polyurethane. Um, it's it's turned out about how I wanted it to. I didn't want it super glossy. Uh, you know, you can go four, five, six coats and make it really super glossy. I wanted a little bit of grain to it, uh, just so it wasn't super, super wet look. Uh, but it looks really good. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, as you can see, it's uh, the uh, wood darkened up quite a bit once you put the uh, polyurethane on it. So, um, yeah, it's it's done. It's dry. I just. Uh, I just moved the majority of my records out of out of the uh, office there, and uh, we are got the shelves out of there, and we're gonna try and get this thing moved in there. It's gonna be it's gonna be a pain. It's got to be turned on its side to get through the doorways, but um, yep, here here we go. This is it. It's finished. So I just wanted to to film it all done. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and go around the back here, and you can see. Um, this backing board, I just uh, tacked it on with little tack nails, and uh, there's just two. I did I did two sheets of the exact same size, so um, that's pretty much it. It's ready to go in. So just wanted to film the uh, the final the final bit of it here before it, it goes in and gets pressed into service. <laughs> 